Hello, I'm Lilsurin, and welcome back to Beholder 2, the full game this time. I'll choose psych- social uh, philosophy, uh... I'll choose philosophy. Are you- wait, question one, are your beliefs true? I believe in the wise leader which means they are true, I believe they are true. The truth is not noble, so no. Yes? Yeah? I believe that they are true. Question two, what is the difference between an ordinary person and a normal person? What the fuck? What? Salary, imagination, or citizenship? Uh... Imagination? Is a victory over yourself or- uh, wait. Is a victory over yourself a defeat- a vic wait, is a victory over yourself a victory or a defeat? Is a victory over yourself a victory or a defeat? Holy sh- okay, okay, I actually have to think about this now, cuz... So, it's a victory over yourself, that means I beat myself. So... Yes, that would be a victory, but it would also mean a defeat because I just lost to myself. I do that every time! <laughs> I do this every time though, like, that's the thing, like... I'm gonna sit- Oh! Wait a minute, wait a minute! I see what this question is! It's like, it's, it's a half-half- It's like the glass is half-full or half-empty type of thing. Okay, I see. I see, so... Am I an optimist or a pessimist? Um... I'm gonna be an optimist. Choose a topic. The Oh, I have to go- Oh, say so I have to go through all these. Okay, never mind. If you cross a unicorn with an octopus, what do you- What the fuck?! <laughs> Whatever the leader commands, an egg-legged unicorn or a single-horned octop- Ah. Uh, I would love for a single-horned octop- Um, yeah, a single-horned octopus. A single-horned- yeah. If a person loses their thumb and index finger, will they- What will their finger be called? Wait, so, this is their thumb and their index finger. So that's the middle finger, the ring finger, and the pinky. S wait, 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 so... The ring finger is between the middle finger and the pinky. So... It moves over two. So, it's the middle finger? Yeah, I guess. Our ancestors came before us, and our descendants will come after us. Who are we? Servants of the wise leader. <laughs> Choose a topic. <laughs> I don't know, man. Is it acceptable to beat a person who is lying on the ground? Um. If the leader commands it, I guess. I have a feeling this is supposed to be testing me. If like I'm gonna backstab him. I have a feeling this is a test to see if I'm gonna backstab Weinberg, so... Uh... If the video commands it, then yeah. Is it acceptable to imprison a suspected criminal before a crime is committed? To imprison a suspected criminal before a crime- Okay, so... They're suspected of it. Okay, so they're suspected that they'll do it. But, like, technically they haven't done it yet. But, if they're gonna do it in the future, then... Yes? Cause, like, they didn't do the crime yet, but if they're going to do- If, if someone suspects they're going to do the crime, then that's at least a 5% increase that they are going to do that crime, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it okay to do something illegal if no one will ever know? That's a very good question. It's like the perfect crime, basically, so... I'm just gonna go with the state knows everything. Okay, I guess in a side sociological... I, when a person stops growing and start... When does a person stop growing and start getting old? When <laughs> they receive summons for the blissful sleep? <laughs> whatever they want... Yeah, whatever they want, basically. What are butterflies in your stomach? Infatuation of person in your speech. That, that's a figure of speech. Okay, it's either these two. It's either these two. 
I'm gonna go with a parasitic infection. What is the name of the back of the knee? Leg pit? The pop little cavity. It has no name. What is the name of the back of the knee? That's a, that's a good question. Um, the leg pit it has no name. That sounds a lot. That sounds very scientific, but I know damn well that's not the knee. Uh, I, I, I'm thinking like, so when you get Charlie horsed, you get kicked at the back of the knee. So I'm just going with it has no name. Okay, I guess the world. How can, how long can a human live until they die? Yes. What is the speed of darkness? What? C directive number five five four six eight two. What the fuck is that even? <laughs> Proportional to the speed of light equal to the speed of light. Well, I mean, dark is the opposite of light, so uh. Oh fuck! Proportional. What is the blood side of a knife called? What is the blunt side of a knife? The reverse side of the knife? The butt? I think it's the apogee. I'm 100% sure I'm wrong, but whatever. Dimension of your collector, thanks for your taking part in the server. Glory to the leader. Okay, cool. Now what? Okay, talk to Weinberg again! Interesting! He's probably gonna say, like, oh, you, you're you probably gonna backstab me in the future. Okay, I, I see how it is. I see how it is. And he's just fucking offs me right here and right now. Joke's on you, buddy. I can time travel. <laughs> I can time travel, bro. Report Scully test results. Uh, I passed the test, Comrade Weinberg. I don't know if I passed or not. I really don't. Yes, I know, and I don't think you tried at all. Bullshit! To tell the truth, I didn't understand why I was being asked those things. You didn't? Okay, I'll show you something. Follow me. Is this the secret part of the ministry? Where are we going? Where are we? I don't like if I don't know where I am. What the fuck? This is my lab. I call it the throne room. This is where the future of our country lies. If everything goes well, I will tell you more about it. Oh, this is the secret part of the... Okay. This is the secret chamber, okay. Why did you bring me here? <gasps> Why are we here? Oh, look at Carl. Comrade Weinberg. Hello, Carl. Comrade Weinberg. Hello, Carl. Comrade Weinberg. <laughs> Hello, Carl. I'm so sick of it. But I thought you liked Carl. I like Carl. Here, well, here we are. Everything that you see is the result of well-coordinated work between man and clone. Meet Carl Stein, the so-called Carl Zero, the first one, the master- <gasps> You're the first Carl! Somehow he doesn't strike me as the perfect specimen. Dude! He was the f he came before you! Show some respect! And that's- Oh my fuck, this is a paragraph. <laughs> and that's what we, the genetics and biologists, are here for. When we copy him, we introduce a genetic correction code into the body and firmware into his consciousness. The later suppress- Wait, the latter suppresses Carl Zero's unneeded memories and emotions, while enhancing the qualities we're looking for. Diligence, submission, endurance, as well as lack of curiosity, compassion, and experience. Did I really do that good of a job in the first Beholder game? So, the base version isn't important to you at all. Why do you keep Carl here, then? Historically, all our technologies were designed around him, and recently a bug has appeared in the firmware that we are still unable to fix. A bug in the firmware? That's bullshit. Yeah, Skull had a pretty difficult life. All those fears, experiences, and losses got lodged somewhere very deep inside him, and have been manifesting themselves in his clones at the most unexpected times via a weakness in their firmware. HOLY SHIT! That guy's actually- Holy- That other guy! Her- The Herado- Future Herado's actually from the future, wow! And what do you want- And what do you want to do? I have a hypothesis that the breakdown creates a complex memory of the last year of Carl's life. Something happened during this period. Something very bad. Something that won't stop bugging him, despite the fact that we've cut his brain up in every conceivable way. And how do we fix it? We need to find out what those events were and what combination of memories causes this effect. Don't you know? 
kidding me? See when I cut up a lab rap, I don't this care about how many brothers it had yeah. or how well it slapped. Clones must obey their coding. That's what I know. But that's not a lab rat. Evan, I have no time to play philosopher philosophical games with you. Find out what happened to Carl and find out how these memories managed to penetrate the firmware. So find out what hurt him, then hurt him more? Well, when you put it that way, yes, this is what we call a scientific experiment in case you weren't aware. I guess I'll do it then. You start, to get started, collect all the information you can about the last year of Carl Stein's life. Everything you can find. Your colleagues know something. More, from time to time, they've needed this kind of information for their work, and there's bound to, do, to be something in their archives. Oh my fuck, really? Is the building where he lives still there? Ah, great idea, you can check the building, there might still be some emotional ties there. And then... And then we'll create a visual simulation of Carl's consciousness and feed him everything we found. If my hypothesis is correct, then we'll find out what's caused the firmware malfunction. And if not... Then we'll keep searching, combining and trying, it should work at some point. I'm not talking about the time travel because I already fucked that up. Okay! Wait a minute. Here's my theory. So, in the first Beholder game, Carl Stein had a wife, a, cha a daughter, and a son. In my timeline, in my timeline of Beholder, like the first one, I accidentally sent Patrick to North Boria, and then that's left is like his wife and daughter so I have a feeling his wife and daughter somehow died I'm not sure what the hell is over here buddy oh oh it's just Carl okay <laughs> I, I, was, I was thinking what the hell those were so I'm assuming the traumatic experience is him losing his wife and daughter cuz I mean <laughs> I don't know what happened to Patrick in North Bo what the f how did you? Ho what the fuck? How did you get here before me? How did you do that? I don't like it when people can teleport. <laughs> That's my thing. Ask about Carl Zero. You have information about Carl Zero? About the prototype? Why do you ask? My brother asked me to find out. He's having some difficulties with the firmware. I read in the documents they tested some experimental anti-sleep drug on the prototype. I remember that. Did it somehow affect the clones? I don't know, but the clones have a good resistance to all medication and are great, are great for testing drugs on. I remember that! In the first Beholder game, they said like they gave Carl an anti-sleep depressant drug. And then, yeah. Hey. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Uh... Ask about the quality of Carl Stein. Tell me about Carl Zero's personality. The boss instructed me to collect data for the experiment. You've been tasked with getting it, so I get it. it well, who do you think you are? I'd waste time. That I'd wait. Who do you think you are? That I waste time on you. Okay. Wh whatever, buddy. Fuck you then. Uh, hey, hey, girl. Hey, am I? What do you even do here? Talk about the process, clones. What? I finished this first. Oh, this one. <laughs> You're a smart one. Keep on working like that, and you'll get paid. What? So what's next? Oh well, you can do more work if you want money, to be honest. I haven't thought about what, uh, what's next. Excellent! Hey! Hey, Marie, 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 Marie. Oh, long time, haven't seen you. That's about Carl Zero. That's about Carl Zero. Marie, do you know anything about Carl Zero? I do not know Carl Zero. What is it? No, not what, who. The man, not what, who. The man who became the template for our clones. Did not work in... Wait, did not work with your clones. I not know who is Carl Zero, I saw only tests. By chance, looking at adrenaline stats, I can say Carl Zero has much afraid and angry a lot. Okay, how do you know? I saw test results next to bio containers before download of firmware. High adrenaline, That this is him. Carl Zero inside. Bio containers? Clones with no firmware, their consciousness is suppressed, but the subconsciousness is afraid and angry. Yep, something happened to, like, the wife and daughter. And to a much less extent, the sun. So, do you know anything about Carl Zero? Well, yes, I looked into that one at one point. He's the first clone of a man named Carl Stein. I want to know what was so different about him that they decided to make copies. I fucked up a lot of things back in Beholder, buddy. I know what I did, and I'm not even sure if I'm proud of it or not. And what did you find out? Nothing, an ordinary middle-aged man with average intelligence and health. You can request the data from the archives if you want, it's all in there. Okay, cool. 
You're useless. <laughs> Dude, this is bringing back memories from the first Beholder game. I like it. I like it a lot. Like and subscribe.